Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress with jQuery UI tutorial for beginners and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement jQuery UI into our WordPress default features and also we will see that how can we make use of accordion of jQuery UI in WP. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions or various types of playlists within online web tutor to get the clear concept about customization of WordPress. So if we move to our folder structure, so this is the folder of our project that is jQuery UI WP content and inside this plugins folder. Okay, so what we are going to do inside this plugins folder guys, we are going to create a folder. By the help of that folder, that folder actually we will the make a plugin okay by the help of that plugin we will implement our accordion feature at the admin panel okay so just i'm going to editor and now inside this jquery ui i'm going to create a folder to make a plugin for that okay so this is plugin called wp jquery ui panels okay this is the folder that i have created and now inside this folder i have to create a plugin main file for that okay so just i'm going to inside this folder Let's create a file called PHP file. This is WP jQuery UI panels.php. Okay, this is the plugin main file that we have created inside that folder. Now we have to define some of the comment section for this plugin so that the WordPress can understand that we have created a new plugin. Okay, so just I'm going to get rid of that behind the scene i have created some comment section for this plugin that is plugin name jquery ui with wp and this is the simple description version and this is author name okay so if i save this file go to administrator panel and now if i click on public plugin section this is the plugin that we have created that is jquery ui with wp let's activate that by activating this guys actually this plugin does not contain any functionality so we will not get any of the concept of this plugin right now to this wordpress setup okay so let's make use of this plugin to create our accordion with jquery ui so if i go to the official website of jquery ui just i'm going to browser and now this is the official website of jquery ui okay just scroll down this is the accordion section that we are going to implement i'm going to click and now if I scroll down, this is the accordion. Okay, as we can see, just I'm going to click second tab, third tab, and the fourth tab. Okay, this is the very basic example of accordion that we can see. I'm going to click on the view source. And now, after clicking on that section, we can see that this is the code that we have to use to make the implementation of accordion. Okay, so first of all, guys, I'm going to copy these all contents and now make use of these contents to our created plugin. Before using these contents guys, first of all, we have to make some of the menu section of this plugin. Right now, we have not created any menu section so that we can link any page to that menu. Okay, so just back to editor. Let's add some of the menu sections. So let's create a function. Function, let's say jQuery UI menus. Inside this menu section guys, let's create a page called add menu page. First of all, we have to pass the page title. So let's say that jquery ui wp okay second we have to pass the menu title so let's copy this and paste it here Th in the third parameter guys we have to pass the manage option that is capability manager so let's say manage options in the fourth parameter guys we have to pass the slug of this plugin so let's say that wp jquery ui okay at last, we have to pass the callback function. So let's say that wp jQuery UI, and now this is the callback function. Okay, we need to define this function while making use of this call. Okay, and now next two parameters, guys, are optional. So we are not actually going to pass those parameters. So first of all, let's define this callback function. So just make a copy of that, and let's say that function. This is the function that we are going to define, and let's say that echo this is our sample page okay so if i save this file go to browser and now we have to make use of call to bind action hook to implement this menu section to our plugin so let's say that add action admin menu this is the function that we have created for the menu section paste it here just put semicolon okay so if i save this file 
go to browser and reload this page once we reload we can see that jquery ywp menu has been implemented okay so if i click on that this is the callback function actually run again and this is the simple statement that we have provided inside right here okay so just go to inside this created plugin folder we have to create a folder called views this views folder basically contains all of the pages that we are going to make inside this plugin okay so first of all let's create a file called accordion accordion.php inside this accordion.php guys we are going to create or paste all the codes that we have seen inside this jquery ui okay so just i'm going to click all the section of this accordion let's make a use of that go to editor and paste inside this accordion.php that we have created successfully we have pasted all the codes of accordion to accordion.php file okay now we have to call this file to this function okay basically right now we have provided only a simple statement so just get rid of that before calling that let's make a def def definition section for a constant okay so let's say that jquery ui jquery ui let's say wp path okay basically this constant actually contains the plugin path okay so let's say that plugins dir path okay inside this path this is the function okay inside this function we have to pass the current file okay this is the file for section for that so basically it will gives you the path of the current folder that we have opened okay so let's just paste it here if I go to browser section reload this page this is the path as we can see okay so now by the help of this path actually guys we are going to attach this accordion.php file to this function okay so just to get rid of that let's say that include once this is the constant and now by getting the jquery ui panels this is the plugin folder name okay inside this plugin we have to go inside this views folder okay so let's say views inside this view we have going, we are going to use called accordion.php okay so let's say accordion.php and basically guys we have discussed inside the playlist if you have remembered that is wordpress plugin data and security inside that we have discussed that we are not going to call this file directly we, instead we are going to use called the buffers in php okay so how can we implement that this is not the good practice of a good developer in plugin development in wordpress okay so just i'm going to use called php buffer so first of all we have to start the buffer okay this is where we start next we have to finally we have to clean the buffer okay obey and clean next we have to read the contents of this buffer so basically by starting this buffer we actually included a file okay so we are going to read all the contents from this file to a variable okay so let's say that template this is obegin contents this is a php function by the help of this function guys we actually read all the contents from this file and is stored inside this buffer okay after storing this all values that actually accordion.php we have stored inside this variable so just make a use of that variable and let's say echo template okay so finally we have used a buffer okay where we have included a file read its content and now by using this template section we are simply echoing that okay so just save this file reload this page and now as we can see that these are the contents that we have included in our accordion.php file okay so right now it is not accordion why because we have missed some of the functions that actually jquery ui uses that is jquery accordion method so here we have a basic question question is that how can we use this accordion method to our wordpress setup okay so for that guys in our first video session we had discussed that how can actually wordpress default supports these all features okay so if i scroll down this is the wp increase script function this is a wordpress function basically used to enqueue or add a javascript file to our wordpress setup okay so if i scroll down this is the jquery ui accordion so how can we implement that basically we have to use this jquery ui accordion as a file name okay and this is the needed dependency okay so we have to make use of this jquery ui accordion as well as jquery so just copy this name go to editor and now we have to make a function for that okay so let's see the function jquery ui and this is js files okay inside this jquery ui js files guys we have to use to enqueue that those files so let's say that wp enqueue script 
Inside this WP in queue script, we have to pass that parameter and this is jQuery your accordion. Okay, before using this directly, we have an even needed dependency to use that something called jQuery. Okay, so if I make use of that, before using jQuery your accordion, you have to paste the jQuery because this is the dependency for this. All we have to use this function to add with the action hook to attach these files to our WordPress setup. Okay, so if I go to editor, and now this is the very basic concept guys that you need to understand that how can we enqueue files in WordPress setup because WordPress contains two panels first is admin panel and the second is front-end panel so how can we attach any JS file CSS file to our admin how can we attach the two assets to our front-end files okay so basically this is the action hook basically WordPress uses to attach our files like CSS, JS, these all files at the admin section. Okay, and this is the WP in case script uses to attach those files to our front end section. Okay, so basically we are going to attach those files to our admin panel. Okay, so we are going to use this admin in queue scripts. Okay, so just make use of that. Go to editor and let's see that add action. This is the action hook and second parameter we need to pass the callback function. This callback function uses and attach these two files like needed dependency and the jQuery UI accordion. So successfully we have used and attached the needed files that is jQuery UI.js and the jQuery. Okay, these all files are actually attached by WordPress by default. Okay, next we have to use this accordion method. So how can we use that? So for that we have going to this jQuery UI panels folder that we have created. Inside this folder, let's create a folder called assets. Okay, inside this assets folder, create a file called JS. Okay, this is our custom JS. Okay, inside this JS file, guys, we are going to define that accordion method. Okay, so just get rid of that. Let's so jQuery document dot ready. Inside this ready function guys, we are going to use this accordion method. So just I'm going to copy, copy that, paste it here. Let's change this dollar sign to jQuery. And now inside this jaccordion.php, let's change the default ID actually jQuery UI provides. This is accordion hyphen WP. Okay, this is the custom ID that we have given. So just go inside the skip.js and now replace with this with a new name. Successfully guys, we have used this accordion method. Okay, next thing that we need to call this skip.js file to our jQuery UI panel. Okay, so how can we call that? So just go to browser and now this is the documentation by the help of this WP in queue script. We are going to add that. Okay, so just I'm going to copy this function, go inside editor and let's see WP in queue script. This basically takes the function that, that is first parameter as the handle name. This is the and about these parameters guys you can actually study about this documentation. Okay, this is well prepared. So name of the scripts and we have to assign here. Okay, this is the unique name that we are going to create for this script.js file. Okay, so let's see that custom script. This is the handle name that we have provided. Second, the source file. So this is the source file where we have defined. Okay, so how can we find the source? So first of all, we have to define another div, uh, means the constant parameter, something called for the URL section. Okay, so let's say that instead of jQuery UI WP path, we have to create a new constant that is jQuery UI WP URL. Okay, this contains the URL of our plugin. Okay, so right now we have defined a URL for that. Okay, so if I copy this if I call this here so let me check the path let's copy that paste it here and reload this page once we reload as we can see that this is the URL of our created plugin okay so by the help of this URL guys we're going to call this script.js file okay so just get rid of that from here go inside our WP and Q scripts file and now in this second parameter we need to pass a source so that this is the URL section after getting the jQuery UI panels, this is the jQuery UI panels. After getting that, we have to go inside this assets folder. Okay, so let's say assets. Inside this assets, we are going to call this skip.js file. Okay, so if I save this file, go to browser again. In the next parameter, we need to pass the call the dependency. Okay, obviously, this file has the dependency on the jQuery. Okay, so let's pass that. Inside this array, let's say that jQuery 
okay this is the dependency of this file next parameter we need to pass called the version okay so let's pass a version for this file let's say 1.0.0 okay in the next parameter we need to pass in footer obviously this file we are going to add inside footer okay so we have to pass called the true value so just save this file go to administrator panel and now refresh this page once we refresh guys as we can see that this is the section 1 as we click this is the section 2 this is our section 3 and now this is our section 4 so successfully we have implemented our accordion to our WordPress setup but right now we have no CSS for that okay because as we can see that this is the default CSS actually WordPress has picked for this accordion so if suppose we want to make this accordion something like that if I go to themes folder let's click on the gallery section okay basically inside this gallery section we want to create our accordion something like this okay so just I'm going to clear download button because this is the theme structure okay so let's scroll down these all features actually our jQuery UI.js and the CSS file will support okay so just scroll down here is the download button so let's click on the download button to download the zip folder for of this jQuery UI features so successfully guys we have actually downloaded that folder this is jQuery UI hyphen 1.12.1 this is custom.jp okay so if I go to folder structure this is the folder that we have downloaded so if I make unzip of that so let's extract here this is the folder that actually we got okay inside this folder we have actually a file for that and this is jQuery UI mean.css we need to include this CSS to our accordion means to our plugin okay so just copy this file go to plugins this is the plugin that we have created go inside that inside assets folder just paste it here okay all we have to include this file to our plugin so to include this file just go to editor and now we have to add a new line for that okay so we are going to use a function called WP in quiz style because this is a style sheet okay so let's say that WP in quiz style inside this style we have to pass first the handle name that is the style sheet unique name okay so let's say jQuery WP CSS okay in the second parameter same we have to pass the source okay so we have created the URL right here so let's call that jQuery UI URL okay this is the second file that we have created and now let's append that within assets folder inside this assets folder we have a file called jQuery UI dot mean dot CSS okay something like here okay in the next parameter guys all we have optionals okay so we are not going to pass all those parameters so if I save this file go to admin panel and now refresh this page as we can see that after including that style sheet we have a proper well prepared CSS of accordion this is the jQuery UI accordion implementation to WordPress setup so let's click on section 2 this is section 2 section 3 and section 4 okay all these contents guys we can change from this file that we have created so let's say that learn WP plugin okay this is the first section that we have renamed in the second let's say learn cake PHP okay in the next let's say that WP theme development okay and finally the fourth section that we have developed something like that let's change it to something called metabox tutorial okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page and all the contents we have renamed okay so successfully this is the very basic concept of jQuery UI accordion implementation with WordPress okay if you want to deploy this implementation to your front-end section so remember to include all these files to your front-end section this is the action hook that you need to include okay right now this is the action hook that we have used this is for the admin section only you have to replace this action hook with this action hook okay so successfully guys by the help of this video session we actually understood about the implementation of accordion of jQuery in WP okay so from the next video session guys we will see some different concept of jQuery UI in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day